Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Undiluted Tech. Today we are diving deep into our two-year journey with the Firewall of Gold, a robust cybersecurity device that promises to protect your home and small business networks with enterprise-level security features. Let's see how it has stacked up the last two years. If you don't know, the Firewall of Gold is a versatile firewall device designed to secure your network providing extensive features such as advanced threat de detection, VPN capabilities, and comprehensive parental controls. But how does it hold up over an extended period of time? The pros are exceptional security. Over the past two years, the Firewall of Gold has consistently provided top-notch security. Its real-time threat monitoring and intrusion prevention has kept my network safe from various cyber threats. The automatic updates ensure that it remains equipped to handle the latest security challenges. Second of all, user-friendly interface. One of the standard features is the intuitive mobile app and web interface. Whether you are a tech novice or a seasoned IT professional, managing network settings, monitoring traffic, and setting up rules is straightforward and hassle-free. Thirdly, comprehensive features. From built-in VPN support to deep packet inspection and robust parental controls, Firewall of Gold is packed with features. The device has allowed us to create a secure VPN connection effortlessly and manage multiple networks seamlessly. And for, for performance, and for performance, despite its extensive security features, Firewall of Gold has minimal impact on network performance. We've uh, experienced stable and fast connections, even with multiple device and heavy usage. And lastly, customer support. Firewall's customer support is responsive and knowledgeable. Whenever we encountered issues or had questions, uh, their team was quick to assist, providing effective solutions and guidance. Now, like with everything, there are always cons. And the cons that I found out, um, some of them are not big of a that big of a deal but some you know some I had an issue with so the first call here to look at is uh like the initial setup complexity now at first glance it looks easy but when you're setting up sometimes the connection doesn't work so again the user-friendly aspect of it comes after the setup is done the initial configuration can be daunting, especially for users without networking experience, and it requires a bit of technical know-how to get everything up and running smoothly. Another con is the price point. At $500, right now it's I think $509 as you can see on the screen, but before that it was $565, and that was a significant investment. While it offers excellent value for its features, it might be overkill for users with basic security needs or small home networks. Another one, uh, one other of the cons is a loving, uh, not a loving, <laughs> but a learning curve for advanced features. For those who want to utilize the advanced features, there's a learning curve. Uh, understanding and configuring deep packet inspection Custom rules and network segmentations requires time and patience. So, a little bit of things to learn about the Firewall of Gold. Uh, obviously, I'm not recording my mobile phone, but if you download the Firewall of Gold app, you're able to connect to the Firewall of Gold via phone. However, this is another pet peeve. If you want to use a web version of it you have to go to my.firewaller.com and then you're greeted with this qr code that you scan using the app and then it will open up to the basic functions of the firewall of gold uh, dashboard now the problem i have with that is there's no advanced features on there like on the mobile app which i don't understand how on the mobile app you guys can develop an advanced level of features and configurations but on the web development or the web GUI that is not there and whenever I opened a ticket to ask them they said something like there's not enough users that are using it well if you had developed it then a lot of users would use it but 
you know, that's just a lazy way of um, copying out, I think, in my own opinion, because open source stuff like PFSense, you can get that stuff on the web GUI. And another con that I don't like, besides the other one, the ones that to me don't settle well, again, is the lack of sending your logs to a SIM. I have a SIM, a security onion, if you're wondering, but I can't send the logs from Firewall of Gold to my SIM. In PFSense, it's just a matter of a checkpoint, checkbox, and I send them. I reached out to Firewall of Gold or Firewall of team, and they gave me some instructions that didn't work. It was honestly a waste of my time. So those two are my pet peeves. The other ones, you know, I guess it's the device. That's how they run their business. But yeah. Anyway, just to show you a little bit of um, the MSP version of it, because um, the MSP version comes in three flavors for personal use, for home, for professional use, which is home and larger networks, and then for business cases, which um, if you own a business, that will cost you 299 per year. If you're home users and advanced home users like me, then that will cost you forty dollars a year, which comes down to like four bucks a month or three forty five or something. But basically once you log into your portal, once you sign up for the free version, I mean once you sign up for the MSP, you'll get your own dedicated URL, which you're able to log in. Um and then once you're logged in, it takes about ten minutes for the portal to open up and this is what you're greeted with now i haven't ran this for a long time it's only been about a couple hours and i wanted to see what it would look like and as you can see i don't have a lot of data right but i do have rules that i've set up on my mobile phone and i guess they appear over here and you can click on those and it'll take you there um as you can see these are all the rules that you can create i've blocked TikTok and Facebook, Snapchat, all that good stuff. Um, and then go back to the dashboard. You can see the number of alarms that I've triggered. Um, the other thing is reports. You can come over here and create reports. Uh, you can come over here and look at your inventory, which I only have one box right now. But I do have the original firewall gold laying somewhere. I never even opened the box. So... I didn't open it because I was using uh, Ubiquiti devices at the time. So and I was happy with it, and that was a birthday gift. And then they came up with a 2.5 gig, which I ended up buying because I have a 1,200 down and 12 and 500 up. So, you know, it was worth the upgrade. Um, besides the features, you got your alarms, you see what devices in your network are causing issues and as you can see these are my kids playing games at a later hour they should be in bed so this is where the parental control comes in so if i wanted to block the internet connectivity from 8 p.m or from maybe 4 to 8 p.m i could do that but uh, they are off for the summer so i'm just gonna let them you know kick it and enjoy themselves uh after that you got your devices all your devices are listed over there. Now, the professional one has only one user, so you know you can create more only one user. There's not much over there. And then you get your flows, shows you what countries are being, or what events are happening in your network. You can come over here and block and do whatever you need to do. Uh, then you can go to events. There's only one box over there. Seven hours running, so I haven't collected a lot. And then you get the rules. You get to target list right here. I uh, created a target list. You can Google this from or get it from online, a, target, a targeted list for ad blocking. You come over here and create a list, and then you enter them like so, like that, like that example, and you can select what category. Is it ads, malware, gaming, social, or videos? So that's for creating a targeted list then my favorite feature you get your vpn you can have site-to-site -site vpn you can have Surfshark. shark um, 
Express, NordVPN, etc., etc. Uh, if you're into APIs, you can come over here and uh, learn how to create your own APIs to interact with the uh, the firewall MSP portal. And um, that's it. This is a very comprehensive device or advanced device for home security, which doesn't have. It's not as complicated as some of the out. Uh, um, devices out there but again uh, for me I wish the free version they could have a local install of all these instead of us paying $40 a year and you already paid $500 so that's the only thing there so what are my final thoughts you know after two years with the firewall of gold it's clear that this device is a powerhouse for network security its robust features, reliable performance, and excellent support makes it a top-notch or a top choice for anyone serious about protecting their network. While it does come with a higher price tag and requires some initial setup effort, the peace of mind and security it provides are well worth it. So, if you're looking for a comprehensive, long-term network security solution, the Firewall of Gold is an investment you won't regret. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell no notification icon for more tech reviews and insights from our Delta Tech. See you next time.